In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make an inshore cod fish rig. This will be a simple high-low rig. We're gonna be using Gamagatsu. These are your 5.0 bait holder hooks. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm using 50 pound, this uh, red uh, monofilament line. So you could see, normally I would be using probably like a 60 pound floral, but just so you could see better on the white background, I'm gonna go with this red line. And then we just have some little things that we would add on. You know, this just happens to be a squid and it's like a little twister tail in the uh, bubblegum color. Codfish absolutely love this bubblegum color. It's probably one of the best colors you could use for codfish. So let's get to it. So we're gonna stretch out our monofilament and we're gonna make two drop loops. So before you make your first drop loop, you wanna leave yourself some extra line here because that's where your sinker is gonna go. So start right about there. Start with about a five foot section of mono. So I guess right about there, I'll start it. And you wanna make a little bit of a bigger loop. So you can see I pulled some decent mono out and you start twisting. I went six times on that. And then once you do your six turns, you take this middle line that's on the bottom here, push it through the loop like so. So it starts popping through and you would use your teeth to hold that and then you would slide the rest. So I'm gonna take the line off camera for a second, use my teeth. With my teeth, I'm grabbing a mono now and pulling it. You wanna moisten your loops and you wanna snug tight. And that would be your first loop. And then you're gonna come up a little say about a foot and a half up, I guess, the two feet up, and you're gonna do your next loop. And you can adjust it, you can make them bigger, smaller, however you want it. And again, six turns for the drop a loop. There's your sixth one, pull that leader through, right there. And that's what you can, this part right here that you see my finger, that's the part you're gonna grab with your tooth and hold on to it so you can slide it through. You don't wanna actually bite the, the mono itself. You wanna put this like inside your tooth so you don't nick your leader. So I'm gonna take that off camera again. I'm gonna put it in my tooth and I'm pulling forward with it right now. Again, moisten that knot and come tight. So those are your two drop loops right now, you could see. From over here now, we're gonna do a perfection loop and that's where your sinker is gonna go. So just trying to see where I am here. And your perfection loop is simple. Twist it over, one time over the thumb, one time under the thumb, so it looks like that. And you're gonna take the piece that's on your thumbnail. Keep pressure over here though. You wanna hold that knot tight, because if you let go, everything's gonna slide out. So now you just take that, and you can see I'm still holding pressure and just working it through. And you can see that other piece is starting to snug down. That's gonna form the knot right there and you snug it and then you just tighten it up. So that would be your perfection loop right there. And you can always trim the little tag ends, just a simple little scissor, cut that off. All right, so that's where your sink is gonna go, your first hook, and then your second hook right here. And this would go either to an Albright or an FG to your main line, or you could just put a simple Spro swivel and that would work just as well. Now I'm gonna get my hooks. And uh, the reason why I like to use these bait holder hooks, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but there's little bobs right there, little barbs. That's gonna help hold this plastic bait. Also your clam bait is gonna help it to stay on the hook a little bit better. So these loops are a little bit shorter than what I would normally like, but I can still show you how to do the rig with them. So you wanna go through the, the eye of the hook. You might have to squeeze it with the heavier grade mono. There you go. Pop it through and then slip the hook through. So that would be your first one right there. There's your first hook, and that's where your sink is gonna be, okay? Then you go up to your next one. And I like to keep all the hooks in the same direction. I like to have them, the point facing out away from the line. And you get your second hook. Pinch down a little. Also be careful, these hooks, they're razor sharp. Pop that through. There's always one that's gonna give you the problem. Okay. And slide it through the hook, like so. And you can see what I'm saying, it's away from the main line. So that's the main line. You can see the hook's facing away. I don't like it when it's turned into it. So, 
Now what I like to do for my inshore rigs, again, you could do the same for the offshore, it's exactly the same rig. I would just go again, heavy line, and maybe a little bit of a bigger hook. These are five O's, maybe go with the sixes. So on this hook right now, what I would do is I would take my grub, right here, my bubblegum grub, and just simply pop it in, work it through a little, and then pop it out. Now you can see I'm going over these two little barbs here. And that's going to help keep that bait, like I said, in place a little. Just slide it up. And that's basically your top hook. So, coming from this would be attached to the rod. There would be your first hook. Again, you would dress that with a clam. There would be your second hook, which I would leave just plain with a bait, nothing on it. And in here is where you attach your sinker. This is our perfection loop. So, you take your simple sinker. Take your line, run it through, and a simple just loop over, and that's it. And that right there is your simple codfish rig. And I'll just walk you through so you can see it. Here's your first hook, working it up to your second. And that's basically all you need to get the codfish. with the grub. And that would go across to your main line. And that's your whole simple codfish rig. Simple high-low codfish rig. Very simple to make. Another way you could use a uh, this rig, instead of having a hook and a sinker on the bottom, you could simply tie a jig to the bottom. Right here you see one of your basic codfish jigs. Simple little knot. And into your teaser up top. And that would go to your main line. That's another variation of tying this rig. Again, this you drop a loop, and you have your clinch knot onto your jig. And that would be you know, your second way of doing another codfish rig. Tied basically the same way, just instead of the hook being right there in the sinker, you just tie it to the jig. If like what you see, let me know if you want to see any other videos, subscribe to my channel, and uh, like and leave comments. Thank you so much for watching.